already shuffled hand, we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Aquarius, recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Six of Wands and it's with the Knight of Swords. Now, the Six of Wands is a great card in the tarot. It actually signals victory. It signals rec recognition. Um, it's um, about success. Yeah, and when it comes to relationships, um, just for example, the Six of Wands can suggest, this is an example, that you could be the type that would need someone to boost your ego while the other person is perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. This is called fire of balance. The two of you feed off of each other energetically. So with the Six of Wands, you could feel like you're mirroring, you and your person are mirroring each other. There's a lot of passion and really good sexual energy with the Six of Wands. And yeah, look at your person, the Knight of Swords, the card that's below the word pass. Uh, your person was always rushing in to, to be with you. Knight of Swords rushes in, is making plans, taking action. Yeah, very impulsive. Your person would cut out or put a stop to whatever got in their way just to be with you. You two had a lot. Oh, you two had a lot of great chemistry with the Six of Wands here. But that's the recent past energy between you and your person. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. Well, we got the King of Cups, and it's with a tower. Now, this King of Cups is. A really good card in the tarot. Um, whenever you see the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups in a reading, just know that those are two of the most loving energies in the deck. It's a very warm, friendly, tolerant energy. There's an element of pure and true love in your life. When you get this card in a reading, what's in the King of Cups cup? Well, it looks like it could be... Wow, what is that? A thick milkshake? But no, it's, if it is a milkshake, it's a milkshake filled with love. Yeah, King of Cups is all about love. Now, it's with the tower, though. So the tower can be about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo. And that can be a disaster. Because you have to remember to always roll with the changes and think positive. It could be that some people or situations that you have counted on as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way as they once were. Yeah. The change is um, difficult for some people, but if you try to prevent it, it could be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. So, what this is telling me, Aquarius, coming up for you and your person, um, yeah, your person is um, could be starting to really catch feelings for you. King of Cups, like I said, it's all about love. Yeah, they could be wanting to offer you something romantic. They, be, they could be wanting to offer you their cup of love. And... The tower is here, so you might be shocked by this. Yeah, doesn't that tower look shocked? It's the card below the word present. That's the tower. You might be shocked, but I'm telling you that your person, um, they're really feeling you. Their emotions are in this. Yeah, so that's what's coming up. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. So we got Temperance and it's with the Emperor. Now, Temperance is usually about finding balance. 
It's a very calm and patient type of energy. It can be about reconciliation or just wanting a peace of mind. And like I said, your person there, they're starting to really feel you. Really feel you and really into this connection. Um, but you, you might be thrown off by this. Maybe if you're not shocked, then maybe you're feeling like uh, you're not ready for this. Yeah, because there's that tower. The tower is not standing up strong. So, the emperor is here. The emperor is the card below the word challenge. The emperor is a very cold type of energy. The emperor will um, use his head over his heart. Um, the emperor can be a leader, a boss, or someone that's really arrogant. Yeah. Yeah. So, Aquarius, I'm feeling for a lot of you out there, you're not ready for this. It looks like you might have, you might be enjoying this person and enjoying the connection. But you're not as emotionally invested as this person. You could be thrown off by this because it looks like they could be ready to open up to you and let you know how they really feel about you. They got deep emotions for you, Aquarius. Now, the challenge like I said, temperance and the emperor, so you might you might just go cold on this person or you might realize that you have to um, you might feel like you need to change how you treat or act towards this person be less warm, um, yeah, the Emperor is a very shut down energy, um, very detached, so you might feel like you need to detach from this person, and that might be your way of thinking to bring, um, maybe balance back into the connection, or just bring peace of mind, or just bring or bring it back down. You're trying to bring it back down to just an even kill state. You weren't really expecting your person to get emotionally invested in this. Or you just didn't want that because you're not there yet. So we move on over and take a look at the outcome. We got the Three of Pentacles. And it's with the Death card. So, the Three of Pentacles. Okay, well, if you look at the picture, it pretty much says it all. The Three of Pentacles can be about teamwork, collaboration, and skill, um, cooperation, working things out, but it's with the Death card. So, it's, it's just telling me that your person um, is upset. Just look at the picture. The Three of Pentacles is the card above the word outcome person is not happy. Uh, it can be about coming together and working things out, but it's with a death card. Your person is, has lost interest. They see that you're shutting down. You're being like the emperor. You're being cold and detached. And they opened up their heart to you with the king of cups there. Yeah. So, they're not happy. Just look at the Three of Pentacles. They were expecting you to um, get on board with this. So they're losing interest. They're coming to a conclusion that you're just not in it like they are. Because a death card can be about coming to a conclusion, losing interest, finality. 
Yeah, so you might find that your person is cha is trying to um, change, because the death card can be about deep transformation and change also. So you might find them acting different, differently than they were. They might be um, retracting or pulling that cup back from now on, if you two are still together, but... It's showing with the Three of Pentacles here that, like I said, they were expecting you to get on board. And now they're, they're losing interest because they see that you're, you're detaching. And, yeah. So, that is the reading that I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again... If you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aquarius, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe and strong during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. Stay strong and take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Aquarius reading just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind when you get the readings... The roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend. The other person could be a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So, Aquarius, thank you so much for watching. I can never say that enough. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And yeah, happy birthday. It's my birthday, too. I'm a Valentine baby. Yep, it's all good over here. So, have a great day. Hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.